joining me now in studio. This is a big deal. You talk about a win for the American people. Not only is the outnumbered show back in studio, uh, but that means the footwear of my next guest is now viewable <laughs> in wide shots on a jib for all of America. This is not only a broadcasting funny. win. But it's a fashion win. The queen of daytime, oh, Harris Faulkner you. in the house. The crowd goes wild. Hello. Oh, my goodness. By a crowd, he means the empty studio with, well, like, one of our coworkers in yeah, the corner. We got This is a very exclusive club. You know, we got the bouncer outside with the clipboard. You know, yeah. if they're not on the list, we, we can't let me. them in. That's what I'm I mean. not on the list. By the way, Bela, why don't you put me on the list? I had to, like, bribe my way in here. Dude, you're here. You're throwing my football during commercial breaks. I had to leave breaks. my shoes outside for, for him. For someone who wasn't allowed in the room, you seem pretty at home, okay? <laughs> Just playing with I'll stuff. Put up, I, I'm going to put up the throwing of the football on on I guess I'll do Instagram. It's the right, right? thing to do. It's going right? to make the it's going to make the What was the song by the way that played in? They, you I actually came it. in of all things on Rage Against the Machine, oh, which is okay. bizarre. That's cool. Which I'm is really funny. Before we get into the grown-up stuff, everybody who grew up listening to Rage Against the Machine, total side note, has joined the machine. The people that are on the far left were oh, also the ones that are like, I'm with Big Pharma. Get your vaccine. You know, do what the government tells you. It's really weird. That's wild. We are living in strange times. Like somewhere in the digital age of our politics, mm -hmm. our American life got snow globed. They basically just turned the country upside down, shook it up, and everything kind of repositioned. That's and how I make my favorite salad dressing. Is that what you that's the yeah, see this is why, this why you have Harris on. You get and recipe do you know when tips. I use it most? When? Oh, when Vice President Kamala Harris speaks, because it's like a big salad of words. The word salad. And I, I shake it up, just like you just said. I just put that, that peppercorn ranch right on it. <laughs> I One day on TV, i will I got to give you credit for this, because um, sometimes you I, I find myself involuntarily laughing at stuff I don't see coming. So you <laughs> okay. played a Kamala sot of her speaking, mm -hmm. and your reaction to it before you tossed to the guest was, can somebody get her some croutons for that word salad? <laughs> I mean, it was like, I, I mean, sometimes she, and, and that's, high, that's high praise from you because yeah. you make people laugh constantly. I, I do wonder sometimes um, if she hears herself like that, mm -hmm. you know? She doesn't strike me as somebody who's watching the game film because if you self-edit, <laughs> Jimmy, as we have to, though, like, you know, if you, you know you're going to be in front of a she's camera. She's not the Tom the Brady of the vice president. Yeah, she's not there. Remember I used to hear like Peyton Manning watch game film all night yeah. long. Look what they're doing with the safeties. Kamala is not, <laughs> she's not looking at what they're doing with the safety no. because the problem keeps happening. It's yeah. not correct. It's not good for the country. No, like, I, I mean, just to, to break it real. Mm -hmm. I mean, we joke about it and everything, but we do want our president and our vice president to be successful in America. We need that. And especially right now, we got a lot going on in the world yep. and it doesn't look good when at the white house visit of the former president, Barack Obama, mm -hmm. he showed up and he was like Bono. <laughs> but, and and uh -huh. I Joe Biden was more like he, um, he was the lead singer of a cover band called Rattle and Hum, oh, like a YouTube cover band. I mean, but he was facing <laughs> the wall in a corner talking to no one. It was sad, and it really it it disturbed mm -hmm. me a bit because everybody sees that. Yes, well, that's to, including our enemies. To expand I, that, that's a really great point. And to expand on that for one second, so the one thing that has fascinated me about this administration, as it pertains to their social popularity, is meeting a president, no matter who they are, is a life experience. Oh, it it's is. a big deal. You meet yeah. a president. Doesn't matter if you voted for him or not, you are meeting Being in that house. Yes, it's a big deal. Even as a journalist, as it's a, a big deal. Really big deal. Yeah. So when it's you see house. when you see yes, but when you see a president of the United States with no one in a room interested in meeting him. Yeah. And a lot of people in the room. I mean, it's a they're crowded just not room. focused is, on him. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. They're it's, not in the Biden focus. Fast, it's fascinating. Because again, if you're there to get the Obama selfie, you might say, hey, I've got a Biden's wide open. Why don't I take that yeah, selfie to get closer to Obama? That, but maybe Nobody it happened. Did. I, I, I and it was out of our purview. And, and I'm a guy who watches the game film. So let's no, hold on here because right. I did not see You're going to play this back. You're going to be like, why was she wearing that headset? <laughs> She's not hosting the show. Oh, uh, no. You, it's, it's, it's actually good audience work because let's say we were going to toss to a clip. Let's say we we're going to play some sound. You'd I just like in. to hear it because I thought if there's music or something mm -hmm. and, you know, and it keeps my bang off my face. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this is really just another fashion accessory. I opened by talking Most shoes. Most things are. Yeah, no, we know. I'm well aware. Harris Faulkner's in studio, the queen of daytime. They carried her in on the pedestal bed. It was a hold to do. She's here. Aww. Um, like coming to America? <laughs> <laughs> she's got a bag of sandwiches from McDowell's. Woo! It's a great time. Actually, yeah, oh, they, yeah. You didn't hear it, but Sexual Chocolate was the band that played you on. That was That's what it was. Is that Remember true? The band? No, I'm being silly. Oh. Stick with me. Okay. So you're from New Jersey. Oh, it was you're, rage. I don't you're know. You're the best. You are from New Jersey, though. And, uh, I'm, I'm not actually from no, New no, Jersey. No, no, I know. But, what but I've I'm lived there is, twice in my life. My mm -hmm. dad was stationed at Fort Monmouth, and... Mm -hmm. um, 
you know, I, that was like second, third grade. And now we live in Bergen County, New Jersey, and we have two children. One is in seventh grade. The other is a freshman in high school. Mm-hmm. Parental issues became, as they did for all of us, because mm-hmm. our kids were on digital for quite some time, mine over a year in Jersey, Cobalt Blue State. Mm-hmm. Um, I have a lot of respect for the teachers and the educators and the job Mm -hmm. that they normally have to do. But I got to tell you, I was doing their job. You were doing their job. We were all doing their job Mm -hmm. during the the height of the pandemic as our kids were digitally learning. And I was trying to not set the kitchen on fire um, in some of the science (laughs) projects. And at one time, Uh uh, because I was broadcasting, they were on their devices. My husband's work from home. I went off the air. You could hear my voice, but you couldn't see my face. (laughs) And I said to the audience, I've disappeared for a moment because there's something going on for the seventh grader. You know, I mean, (laughs) just explain it. Uh I have a different expectation Mm -hmm. for our educators now. Yep. And that expectation is that I am involved in a different type of a way. So if you want to do something with my child that you think is going to influence them in ways for the rest of their time and it falls outside the gap of learning that we know all of our children suffered in that time, mm-hmm. learning digitally yep. doesn't perform the same as in the classroom. No question. If you're not teaching them math, history, science, all that, I want to be involved in that. Yes. Anything that, uh, that pertains to their personal development, that's the point I was going to bring up, is when it does come to remote learning, just to make you feel better about your own teaching skills, uh, six months into teaching Lincoln Spanish, he asked me what date we celebrate Cinco de Mayo on. Aww. And I was like, yeah, I'm not going to get tenure as a professor. It's not looking good. <laughs> uh, the words are May 5th. But we're talking now not about my bad Spanish teaching skills uh, over Zoom. Uh, we're talking about the new curriculum Hola. that's going on to the books. That they, there you go. That's going on to the books in New Jersey. Jersey. And oh, yeah. I have so many different angles to approach this from. The first one that I laugh about is when they were demonizing the Florida bill, you know, incorrectly, by the way, because it doesn't ban gay. It doesn't ban the discussion. It doesn't say that in it. Nowhere in the bill. And to be clear, it bans all sexual discussion. They're trying to portray this as if it bans one particular Between ideology. Between kindergarten and, and third, third grade, grade. Which is apparent. I agree with. Do you agree? I almost feel like it should go further. Um, it. it- Kindergarten, you are just now starting to name a few things yeah. mm-hmm. with your child. Yes. Like consecutively. Like yes. that's your la 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 mm-hmm. and this is, you know, blah, mm-hmm. blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Um, those are really personal conversations. Yes. But this idea that we should be introducing conflict into them. I think is reckless. Is that what it is or is it politics? Well, it's definitely, it's a little bit of both because that conflict aligns well with the politics. Mm -hmm. But when they portray this again on uh, a character assassination instead of a substantive engagement on the issue, you realize what's in play here. And one of the demonizations of this bill was, oh, it was Republicans trying to trump up a silly culture war because this isn't being taught anywhere. But we now know, even in New Jersey, it's about to be taught in a big way. Yeah. So that kind of contradicts Starting their Starting in first claim. grade, actually. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, just to give you an idea, mm-hmm. the second grade lesson includes, you know, being familiar with, well, here it is. Define gender, mm-hmm. gender identity, and gender role stereotypes. Mm-hmm. This is, this is yep. a, a lesson. Yep, I was reading some so of this. Here's yeah. my question. Why should my second grade child, right? If mm-hmm. I've got a second grader, why should my child age six or seven or so know more about defining a woman yeah. than Judge Katanji Brown Jackson, <laughs> who was asked that very thing by Senator Blackburn from Tennessee during the confirmation hearings. Why does my mm-hmm. second grader have to know more than a U.S. Supreme Court justice? Thank you. I see what they're doing here. They're beating back the competition for SCOTUS seats. If they, oh, you're if funny. They teach the kids. No, too they much. want to pack the court. <laughs> yeah. with a second grader. <laughs> I'm talking to Harris Faulkner, but yes, on this bill and this, the money, the pull quote I read, okay, is the whole, and this is a, the the wording on this is is spectacular. Okay. Okay, I'm listening. You might, okay, you might feel like you're a boy, even if you have body parts that some people might tell you are girl parts. You might feel like you're a girl, even if you have body parts, that some people might tell you are boy parts, meaning some people might consider those boy parts. Shouldn't everybody on a basic level know that they're boy parts? I mean, we do, well, but this is kind of pretend. We're kind of placating this pretend ideology. Well, one one brings life into the world, mm-hmm. and one doesn't. Yeah. Together, they make life. Mm-hmm. God, I sound like Kamala Harris. This is very basic. <laughs> Ukraine 
is a small country can next I, to Russia. Can I break this down for you? We have a clip from a caller. Boys have a penis. Girls have a vagina. There you go. That's kindergarten cop. And that was a joke in kindergarten cop where everybody was like, uh, this is the most elementary understanding of this issue ever. But somehow that's considered a controversial yeah. statement. You know, here. so I, I have basic problems with that. Mm -hmm. My first basic problem with it is you're calling your pa the parents of the child liars. Yes. Because you're saying some people may tell you this, but they're wrong or they're lying. Yeah. Well, at that point, when they're six or seven or so. I'm going to think I'm the only one who's ever talked to them about that. Yeah, so what you're it. telling yeah. my child is that I've been lying to him or her and that I ought to know better. Mm -hmm. If you further that, you're so fancy with your words, that pull quote. <laughs> what it says at the end is, no matter how you feel, you're perfectly normal. Wow. Teachers don't get to decide or tell my child he or she is normal. No, they shouldn't. They, 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 don't, they don't have that privilege. Uh, you see, I agree with you. And this. And is what the... if they're wrong? Mm -hmm. What if my child actually has some issues mm -hmm. and they don't have anything to do with their gender? What if my child is, is, you know, dealing with some depression after having been on a device for a year is that... and they can barely read at such a young age and, and they're suffering a little bit. They're lagging behind. You know, what if they have like a little speech impediment? I'm telling you about people I yeah, know in my life right now. Other of course. parents. We've been talking we all, about we this. We all do. Yeah. And they need for you to remove your mask so they can learn the difference between a buh and a pa and mm -hmm. a those mm -hmm. words that start with things that you need to visually yes. see people say playground and basketball to learn how those consonants sound what if that's my child's issue and you're determining normality on something that you don't have a degree for and that's the part that drives me crazy so we're talking to harris faulkner she's in studio and i keep saying to this any democrat who wants to run on this exact teaching i would love to donate to their campaign just to watch them lose every seat because this is not popular they're trying to portray this as a political issue like oh the right is all worked up about this. No, if you look at the polling on the DeSantis bill, if 55% of Democratic parents they support DeSantis. They don't want kids learning this yeah. at this age. And anybody who's ever raised a kid who's been lucky enough to raise a kid, as you understand, when, when, when God hands you a child, you have taken a MacBook Air out of the packing peanuts, and you realize it's never downloaded a single solitary thing. It is brand new. It's completely innocent. Yeah. Every site it goes to, whatever the heck it's going to download, you know, you are so responsible for it in that moment and you realize it and it's humbling but as you engage in the process of watching your kid develop you realize just how many phases they go through yeah and kids go through two week three week you know how many times your your child's vocabulary changes i do you get a word for three days lincoln yeah. used to say marote instead of the remote He'd be like, Aww. hey, can you pass the marote? And he loved it. But it only went on for like a week, and then there was no more marote. This idea that we're trying to introduce this permanent conflict at an age where they're so fluid, I just think is reckless. And I don't think they're doing it with the kids in mind. I think it's the ideology, no, obviously, not. that they're doing it. I um, So first of all, I want to know why you got a MacBook Air, because whatever <laughs> I pulled out of that box pooped all over me. <laughs> go. So why do you get something that doesn't? Um I was in line at the Acme in my Jersey hood, uh -huh. and uh, mom was right behind me, and her husband was with her. And she said, Harris Faulkner, we watch you on Fox News. I am a mom of an LGBT child going through transition, a teenager now. Mm -hmm. And I can't imagine where my child and I would be if a teacher had started the conversation that didn't start until a little bit later, mm -hmm. you know, not when that child was six, but yeah. a little bit later, like 13, yeah. 14, yeah. you know, when you're yeah, teen. having puberty mm -hmm. and all that Makes kind of sense. stuff going on. God, I, I sound like I'm illiterate there. You're having <laughs> sounds, puberty. Listen, if like you're, you're having Doritos. If you're going to sound illiterate, you're on the right show. So just oh, go ahead. No, <laughs> it's a home game. <laughs> but this mother flipped it and she said, no one asked us if this would help my child. Mm -hmm. And she said, I want to I, I was wondering if you could maybe repeat my story and tell people that they don't know what's best for transitioning children. Oh, no, and they? if if they think that a child is transitioning at age six mm -hmm. and that they can help. She said, I want to know why we had to get a tutor for my child for math. Yeah. How about that? They're not doing their job. No. Harris Faulkner. No. And she said, I want you to tell me. And she said, by the way, I'm a liberal. And her, and her husband was so funny. He's like, do you have to tell everything? <laughs> <laughs> and she said, but I can't be now because this, this is not right. Not and it divides us and unites us. It yep. divides. She said it divides her from the education system and it mm. unites her 
politically with people that she probably wouldn't know in any other way. Yeah, yeah, no, it's it's true. I was saying this uh, on a daytime show last Friday. Some crazy enough lady who hosts an 11 a.m. show here on Fox News had me on her show, and I was saying oh my to that crazy woman. Yes, I'm it was kidding. amazing. It sure was, girlfriend. And uh, I was saying the 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 kids, their their lobbyist group is the parents, and they've finally yeah. woken up that lobbyist group it's because true. parents across the country see this for what it is, and it's not prioritizing the children. No, well, this mom said to me, she said, you know, if you're going to tell me that you're in this about love, mm-hmm. she said, when 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 we sat down with our child, our child was shout- shrouded in love. Mm-hmm as we had that conversation. And she said it was the hardest thing I ever had to do because I didn't want to be wrong. Yeah. And I wanted to listen more than I talked, mm-hmm. but mostly I just wanted to hug my child. She said, they're, they're not shrouding my child in love when they have a conversation about boy and girl parts. No, no. They're, they're inserting politics yes. into that conversation. She said, I didn't send my kid to school for politics. Thank you. It's weaponized ideology. And I care. And and understand, I'm one of those guys whose kid isn't even showing up to class. But I'm still picking, you know, speaking Lincoln out. Lincoln does. Lincoln's actually on the honor roll. We have to find out who he He's cop- so smart. No, he's a pretty he's a pretty sharp kid. He's all right. And he has the good sense. Look at his papa. He has the well, he has the good sense. I haven't I haven't Go met Mrs. Fela, so it's for the best. Now, oh, Jenny no, Fail is a good egg. We're gonna work it out. We'll have like we'll have like an open house or something. The Fail of Faulkner hang because Lord Ooh. knows I've Lord knows I've met plenty of Faulkners in my travels. I know you so, have. Right, my husband work. adores you. We're by gonna, the gonna way. work it out. We'll, yeah, we'll, I mean, he's the best. you know, he's so funny because he's like, um, I told him I said I'm going on Fail's show this week, and he goes, Wow. And I'm like, we, honey, if you want to drop by my job, you're welcome to come by. Like, I didn't realize it was that big of a deal. Deal them in. Come on. <laughs> it's a big deal. Um, listen, we're about to get dealt out to a commercial. Um, but uh, honestly, your words carry a lot of weight on this issue as a parent. And I do appreciate your time on oh, this. Thank you. Uh, there's, there's, I think all of us do. No, I know. And we have to speak about this issue. Thank you. Because we're not talking to Republicans in the room. We're talking to parents who care about kids. You Amen. Know? And, and when, when we get together, mm-hmm. let me tell you, we are powerful and right. and democrats had better really be careful with this and yep. republicans do mm-hmm. it's a double-edged sword no question like if you're if you're coming at this issue don't forget it thank you like you can't flip no 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 this isn't you, one of those where no you, i mean you no. you, you got to stick with it and for democrats i don't know why didn't they talk uh, by the way i'm gonna you lose know, you but give me give it to me in 10 seconds uh, so i don't lose you to the break we get the paperwork as parents in new jersey yep. right where mm-hmm. i don't see mm-hmm. mention of parents who might want to ask some questions Thank from you. both perspectives. But that's about to change because we're doing this. We'll talk. Amen. There she goes. Harris Thank Faulkner. You. Miss Faulkner, if you're nasty. Ooh.